Howdy y'all, Twitchonium here. I'm coming at y'all today with another Dominary United Quick Draft. Go ahead and hop straight on in and see what kind of cool stuff we open today. Oops, that was the wrong button. Now let's see what we've got in store for today. Danitha, huh? A first strike, vigilant, life linking 4-4 four, four. sounds pretty good to me. Hmm, okay, so we need to draft some auras and equipments if we take her, but I mean, even if we don't, like I said, a first strike, vigilant, life linking 4-4 four, four is already a pretty high statted creature. Otherwise, not a ton in this pack anyway, so yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll just snatch up Danitha here. Plenty of white follow-ups that are all fine filler playables. All right, now we've got Knight of Dusk's Shadow, which is a pretty strong two-drop. If we want to try and stick to white, really our option is the Cavalier, which is definitely a, a good three-drop in the format. Could also speculate on green with uh, Queen of Lanal. We could go black with the Tribute to Urborg, but I think if we go black, I'd rather take the Knight than the, the Tribute at this point. Yeah, I think I like the knight the best here. Maybe we go into a, a black-white kind of a strategy. All right, here we've got a war leech. Don't know if that's necessarily going to be where we want to be. Again, not a ton of crazy stuff in this pack. I think now maybe I will just take the, the tribute to Urborg, though. Just some nice interaction in black. And even if we don't uh, ever cast this for the kicker, it's still a fine piece of interaction. Yeah, I think I like Tribute. Interesting. So we could take Tori here and cut our black and try to move hard into red-white. Pretty strong card. There's some reasonable green options, just nothing exciting. Kind of the same in blue here. I think if we're taking a black or white card out of this pack, it'll probably be the Warhorse. I guess Herbalist is still fine as a, a two-drop as well. Hmm. I think I like speculating on the, the Tori here, though. Neither one of these are all that exciting, and if we do get pushed into red, this will be a, uh, a really nice role player in that. Right now we can either pick up a Destroy Evil or a Cavalier. I feel like every time I've drafted Destroy Evil, the opponents never play anything with 4 Toughness or Greater, and every time I play something with 4 Toughness or Greater, the opponent has Destroy Evil in their hand. It just never seems to line up correctly, but I feel like that's probably the pick over the Cavalier. Maybe we wheel one of the Cavaliers out of the packs. We've seen them in here. All right, and now... None of the on-color options really great. Of course, there's really nothing super exciting in this pack either way. Maybe we just take a Splatter Goblin. Oh, Nayel is very strong. Otherwise, we're just taking like a filler 2-2 anyways, so I'm, I'm happy to speculate on that too. We'd be a big shift, but we still have time to make that shift if we see the uh, the support for it. Now I'll take another Destroy Evil here. Well, the white stuff did wheel out of that pack, so I'm thinking that's a good sign for us here. Probably take the Captain's Call over the Faith Bonder. Now we'll take another Tribute and pretty solidly cement ourselves into the black-white format here. Take a Shadow Prophecy. Oh, still a lot of green options in these packs, so... Yeah, Sleeper's a nice pick up the slate. Alright, so... Not the craziest stuff, but it's alright. Would like to pick up uh, aura equi or equipment for uh, Danitha if we can see one. Here, I think we're on either Citizen's Arrest or Artillery Blast. Cruelty of Gix. 
mean, this this seems pretty strong. Even if we read ahead and just make this put target creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield, that's still pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that, actually. Now we can take Extinguish the Light, some superb interaction there. Ooh, we have another Extinguish the Light, which I think probably needs to be the pick over Ratadrabic. I don't think we have enough zombies to make this work, or any at all. Yeah, we'll just take the, the super solid removal spell here. Wow, another Destroy Evil. I don't know that I want to run even the two that we have, so I think I'll pick up a War Horse here just as a nice later game thing we can play. Oh, another Extinguished Light. Okay, yeah, these I will take all day over Destroy Evils. Hmm. Now we take another Tribute, and then we can definitely start cutting the Destroy Evils out of our deck here, because we've got three Tributes and three Extinguish the Lights, which are both better uh, pieces of interaction, I feel like. Here we can take, you know, I'm a little tempted to take Garna, and maybe we try to do a red splash if we can find the support for it in this last pack. Take a runic shot here, though. All right, I think we need the uh, the creatures at this point, so I'd love an art artillery blast, but I think we want maybe even just the two drop. Yeah. Now I could totally use a 3-drop, although I think I'd rather have the Sunlit Marsh, especially with all these double black costs that we're going to have. Eh, Mana Worker can be a fine filler if we need it. We'll put it in the sideboard. I might play another Splatter Goblin. Alright, well, we filled up our 2-drop uh, slot there towards the end. Let's move all of our interaction out of here so we can actually get an idea of how many... Uh, two drops we actually have. So we do have six. Card draw, removal, creature. Yeah. All right, so here we've got the Chaplain, which can be very strong in the Defender decks, but we literally have not drafted any of the Defender cards yet. So I think I'm on arrest here just as unconditional exile-based removal. And now, I think I like the knight. We definitely need to pick up some three drops if at all possible. Although, I guess if they're just going to keep giving us citizens arrests, we could just use that as our <laughs> three drop. All right, Skyrider could be a nice option there for that that slot. Same with a Cavalier. That's another nice pickup for that slot. Don't think we're getting anything out of this pack. Pick up a defender in case we wheel that chaplain. Ooh, now reinforcements is actually a two drop I'm pretty happy about. Picked up an artillery blast, that's not so bad. Another cavalier. Alright, well. We definitely got there on the removal in this deck. We have just got everything we could have wanted out of that in these colors. So let's see what all we're going to have to cut out of here. We'll definitely cut the red. We didn't get there on the red splash. We didn't get any auras or equipments for Danitha, but like I said, she's still a very solid creature just, you know, as she stands there. I think we can cut out some of the filler two drops now. So I think we need at least to cut two of these, maybe the two splatter goblins. I think I like the herbalists better, help us scry towards stuff, gain some life. This guy's got vigilance and enlist, which I like. This one has menace. This is two creatures in one. This is a pseudo removal spell. Yeah, I think all the rest of these have more value than just a potential minus one, minus one. I think I'm also okay to cut the Shadow Prophecy. We're not going to have a big domain count in this deck. So that leaves one more. What's our curve looking like? 2.9. I think we cut a land. Probably a white 
Or I guess not. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut the black. Even though we've got a bunch of double cost spells, hopefully our marsh can get us there. A lot of the double cost stuff doesn't need to be until like turn four or later. Got the extinguishes and the gicks and all. The only thing that needs too early is the citizens arrests and we have more white than black anyways. So I think this is looking like it. Let's move these back in and see what the curve looks like with everything in place. Yeah. I think we've got the beginnings of a potentially good deck here. I'll see y'all in the matches. Welcome to round one, y'all. We're on the play with a nice aggressive looking curve out here. Two drop, three drop, and some interaction with a potential removal slash creature later. Let's go ahead and get our scry on unless they kill our herbalist here, which it looks like they're going to. That's fine. Go ahead and flash out our Skyrider here, I suppose. Now that they've used Tribute number one on that, we'll see if they have Tribute number two. Blue-black, one of the more controlling uh, color pairs, that's for sure. Just drop the sleeper as a 3-1 uh, here. If they're not going to play anything on the board, I'd rather have 7 uh, power on board for next turn. If they have the minus 2, minus 2 board wipe, this is the wrong play, but I'm not going to play around the, the board wipe. And we'll see what they've got now. Looks like another minus two, minus two, perhaps. They do have enough for their own uh, extinguish the lights. Could have the four mana removal. Definitely feels like removal is incoming, though. Oh, okay. It's not so bad. I do think I want that last land. And we'll just flash in our Skyrider at the end of their turn here. Alright, so if we play this now, we can make them discard. I think this is worth it. Let's do it after combat, though. find out what they've got here. Uh, Alright, Tatiova needs to go. And they're gonna go ahead and call it there. Right on. Nice fast start to the draft. I'll see y'all in the next round. Welcome back. We're on the play again here with the... Uh, it's a little bit more sketchy of a hand, but I'm still gonna keep it. We've got some early plays. We can work towards Danitha and Eventually, hopefully, we'll draw some black uh, swamps here. This is not a swamp. Let's make your next friend a swamp, please, okay? Thank you. Eh, of course, they've got a 1-3. They always have the 1-3 when I play the 2-1. Eh, no attacks. We'll just hold back for our... Uh, flash speed creatures here. Well, let's get the bigger one down. Yikes. Alrighty. Really need to draw a 
Swamp, or I guess we could even just go one more Plains at this point, but Swamp would be just excellent. Let's go ahead and flash in our reinforcements. We're not going to block, but maybe we'll get them to pull the trigger on something they were considering doing. Yeah, no blocks. Like they may have some interaction for our flyer here. Ah, okay. One of their own. At least now we've got something that can block their 1-3s, assuming they don't just instantly gank the sleeper. And we just really need to hit our our lands. Yeah, they're gonna get rid of our flyer. Yikes. Yeah, that's just pretty rough. Come on. Thank you. If they want to trade one of theirs off, I'm okay with that. Sure. I probably will trade one of these into their Faith Bonder if they swing with it again. but just the lands are killing us here. I did cut one from the deck, but uh, at least this we can do two damage to this. We'll see if they have protection for it. Looks like they do. Yep. Well, at least they don't get the lifelink out of it this turn. Just need to draw something we can play. That's something we can play, but I guess I should have been more specific. <laughs> a single black and we can use Tribute as a uh, combat trick on their Faith Bonder. Sure. Please draw a swamp now. Thank you. I think we swing first with everything, see if they block. Gain a life and scry now. <laughs> we don't want that. Alright, we'll go ahead and see if we can get the kill here. Playing Danitha with her lifelink might have been better, but I'm going to try and hold off one more here. Yikes. Well. That's really unfortunate. Looking great. Yep, and then now they can tap down Danitha. Lock her down. Can't play our cruelty. We have to use Urborg as a way to survive here. Yeah, we just, I think, are dead. We get one more turn, hopefully. And we'll find out if they've got another piece of protection, which white is very likely to have. Yep, exactly. Rough, so end up losing because we don't have the lands, so I think I might make some changes to our lands here because that's so frustrating to lose that way. See y'all in the next round.
We are here on the play again, and I, I think this is a little bit better of a hand. It could be a flood potential. I did add a land back and cut one of our uh, pieces of removal. But I'd rather have the lands than not draw them like last game. Just drop this as a 3-1. in a Skyrider on their turn. This is literally enough to play every single card in our deck. Two whites, two blacks, and five total, so... From here on, we don't want to draw any more lands. Go ahead and kill the Rager so we can get in with our creature. And drop another strong two-drop here. Next turn, we can spend a turn pumping our knight or playing Danatha. Gives us a little flexibility there. The opponent with the Mardu colors showing now. Ooh, that is a very good card. Looks like we're going to lose our knight. Yep. But I think I'd rather extinguish their creature here. Jamming in for five. That's it. We have no more cards in hand. We are at the mercy of what they've got left. Do we have enough to finish the game here? All right, that's a good one. We're just going to swing all. Drop another creature. See if they've got removal for our Skyrider. They do not. That'll do it. Nice. See y'all in the next round. Well, we are here on the draw this time, and we're going to have to toss this one back. We can't cast anything in the hand. Missing a color. Yeah. Sad times. Yikes. And this one's even worse. We have only one color still and cannot cast anything even more. Mulligan again. Yikes. So, going to have to mull down again, and I don't see us being able to come back from that. Yeah. We'll keep this, I guess. I think I guess I'd rather have the extinguish first. Super, super rough mulligans there, though. I even added a, a land back into the deck, so we're not short on lands. So, just extremely bad luck there. Gonna have to draw spectacularly to get out of this one. And pretty much alternate land draws and non-land draws, so we got our non-land, we really need the next one to be a land. There we go. Um, I guess we're gonna use what we got so we can get some attacks going. Sky Knight feeling a little bit weak in this deck. Just needed a uh, creature to fill that slot, though. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and swing still, and we'll see if they block. Maybe we get a sneaky tribute in. Can't get this uh, sneaky trick in. It's very possible they've got something to save their creature here, but I'm gonna use what we've got. Oh, 
already. So we are top decking now. They got removal for our Sky Knight, it's just real bad. Another Berserker. Probably be taking three here. Yep. Alright, so we're going to be eating six a turn now. Yeah, I guess may as well attack. I don't see this one going well for us, though. Yep, now they've got a rare that's going to keep them drawn into gas, although... Not a bad, bad draw there. Gives us a number of bodies, which is nice. Just the one? I was expecting attacks, yeah, with all three of these. Get the enlist here in one of these two. Yep. I'll trade the tokens into this. If they've got protection, they've got protection. This is just a bad spot to be in. These two things are going to make it almost impossible for us to uh, to win. And we don't even have the mana to cast uh, the removal spell anyways. Unfortunate. Mulligan, what, three, four times there? So, went into it knowing we didn't have a great shot, but still doesn't take that sting off anymore. But I'll see you all in the next round. Welcome back. We're on the play here with a okay looking hand. It's definitely better than the last few, so we'll keep this one. And hope we can draw another land or two. That's a good start. Get our uh, herbalist down first in case we get the chance to uh, attack with it and scry. They'll play a 1-3. Ooh, okay. A chick is something we can attack into. Very good start for them, though. So I'm thinking we'll Artillery Blast that after combat here, but let's see what we've got on... Yeah, I think we'll keep that one so we can play our Extinguish the Light. And we can't have them drawing cards every turn. Get a nice little two-for-one with that one. Right, they get to cast a free spell. We'll see if they've got one. They do. We'll mill four next turn. I guess they might mill themselves. That's fair. Get our flyer down. That way we can enlist with the herbalist to uh, get its trigger. Although they're going to just blow this up, it looks like. Yeah. I am very okay if they want to mill us instead of themselves. Now their options in the graveyard are going to be limited. I think let's get two creatures down here. Because they're going to bounce something again. Or stun something again. And I'd rather have more options than just replaying the Sky Knight by itself. I'm guessing they'll do the bounce spell. Ah, they're going to go with the uh, the stun. I guess that's fair. It, it does take one of the creatures out of the equation for longer.
but I feel like their founding of the third path didn't do a whole lot. I mean, sure, they got to use some stuff and got some value, but it feels like we were able to uh, take the sting off a little bit with how it ended up playing out. Yeah, let's just drop the card they know we have. Not a bad little shout here. We can uh, enlist one of our guys next turn with our herbalist. Probably the flyer. Alright, so we'll swing and enlist with you. Actually, let's not undeclare. Let's enlist with you and just attack with you. And then we'll do it like this. I uh, like a tribute. That looks good. We can hold up both pieces of uh, interaction that we've got in our hand there. Interesting. I'm a little surprised they're going after our 1-3 instead of one of our flyers. Makes me think they've got more removal in hand for those, but I guess we'll find out here. out their last creature here. Get in with the whole team. Looks like another fine play for us. And next. Oh, that has reach. That's going to be unfortunate. But I think it's still fine. Yeah. Awesome. I managed to pull it out. See y'all in the next round. We are back, and we are on the play again here with uh, one of the better-looking hands we've had so far, so we will keep this one. We can literally cast our whole hand, which is not something we can say for all of these. <laughs> Plus, it might be our strongest two-drop, so it's nice to finally have that on, on curve. Get some nice life gain back with the double cavalier. And some sweet art on the citizen's arrest. All right, they have removal immediately for it. Blue, white, and red so far from the opponent. And black. Definitely feels like a very domain-heavy deck. All right. At least we got the damage in that turn. And we can arrest the Rawl. Because him, I don't want to stick around. We'd love to stop drawing lands, though. We're pretty much set at this point. Looks like they've got more removal in hand. Yikes. Well, hopefully they have used it all up and they won't have any for Danitha here. Can't really not play her on curve here, so... I guess it's not curve, but... Yeah, they've got something. Remember in the uh, drafting portion when I said every time I play a creature with power 4 or greater, they have destroy evil in hand? Surprise! only does three. So we're going to have to combo these together to kill the Outrider. I think it's worth it. A 4-4 four, four 
we really need to be able to utilize our creature. We've got more lands, of course, of course. I'm gonna hold it in case they try to make us discard. Well, now we need to top deck our uh, hard removal. Just like that. Oh, they have protection. Oh, they don't, but they get to make copies. Of course they get to make copies. Wow. Sure. Why does this have vigilance? Did they? Other zombies have vigilance. That is the issue. Got it. Let's see if they block with this. And we have to kill Radadravic. Because if we kill anything else, then they just get to bring it back again. But Brawl's going to make them do 8 with Vigilance this turn. Puts us to 2. Yeah, I don't see a way out of this. And then that'll do it. That's how these have been going, unfortunately. So... That'll be the end to this run, but let's take another look at the deck and do a little quick evaluation. Because this deck definitely had the legs to go further than it did. We lost one game to having to mill, uh, mulligan three times, we lost one to flood there at the end, and we lost one to screw at the beginning where we only ended up drawing like three or four lands over the course of the whole game. So we didn't really have some, you know, crazy bombs in this deck. Danatha and the Cruelty of Gix were our two best, uh, you know, cards in that regard, but... We had all the removal in the world. We just didn't draw the right things at the right times when we needed to. We didn't hit our lands correctly. It just, you know, luck of the draw was really how this deck felt like it stumbled. The actual deck itself felt very consistent once we actually were able to draw and play our cards. So, pretty fun little uh, Orzov deck, though, all things considered. And I appreciate you all coming along on this ride with me here today. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.